Come over here to work, got a plate of food. Can't beat that. <laughs> Almost fucked up. Yeah. As long as she goes down the road and does burnouts. That's it. That's it. That's all I want to do. <laughs> what you talking about? There ain't no holes in that floor, man. <laughs> what floor? <laughs> it only had 105 horsepower, 3600 RPMs. Boy, this motherfucker get down. Hell yeah. <laughs> Decided to go back, go with a small block, huh? Yeah, it runs and drives. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's easier. Oh, so you still want to do the LS eventually? Oh yeah, oh yeah, eventually. Hell yeah. I just want something to drive right now. So, uh, what we got going on here? Well, it's a little 305. It's running pretty decent. It's a 78 model motor. It's got a turbo 350 transmission. And I'm wanting to do some cab floor. That's what the hardest part is. We got a place motor and transmission before we can actually finish the cab floor. Hell yeah. It's got some of it. You call these a five window too, huh? Yeah, I do. Hell yeah. You do too, don't you? Mm -hmm. I got the bed. I got to shorten it a little bit more. I just done it yesterday. Me and Marcus did. Oh, hell. I didn't that. Yeah, I done the bed yesterday. I forgot you didn't have a bed on it last time. Mm. Gotta shorten the front by about an inch. Hell yeah. Then I wanna run a piece of square tubing weld into this one. All the way up. Now I'm gonna come off it with a flat plate. Come off it with a flat plate. Run a flat plate up front and it box in the square tubing and run bolts through it. Come over here to work, got a plate of food. Can't beat that. Hell no. Get your steering shaft figured out. Well, I gotta drill into it though. I'm gonna <clears> drill <throat> into it and put a bolt here and there to where in case the welds ever break, it's yeah, got a yeah. bolt in it, you know? I can at least get it home. I done trimmed this shit and trimmed it and trimmed it and trimmed it. Well, where's the radiator you got for me? It ain't gonna fit. Okay. I'm gonna try this one. This is the one that come out there, Zuzu. I'm gonna try it. See, it's a big one flu. And I mean, it don't, it don't, it don't, it don't, it don't <laughs> it won't load your track. Hell yeah. I'm trying to get it back in the motor some more. Well, that, that's, I got I to gotta shift it just a little bit. Got plenty of room for the distributor, don't you? Got a lot. <laughs> you found no glass yet? Well, hell no. That glass is high. Yeah, I looked on there a week or so ago. I was looking at shit, fucking around. That glass is high to drive fast. And I got a few tricks for this fucking alternator, too. All this shit worked. I started on it. I got a brand new distributor. I'm going to buy a high-rise intake. Cause I want the car, when I want to set the hood on it, I want a big ass hole cut, and I want the air breather to stick out the fucking hood. Hell yeah. That's what I want. I want to see the air breather and a set of fucking headers. And it's, I'm gonna tear it apart and put a camshaft in it. I thought stick. I'm gonna get a piece to go in between here and here, here and here, here and here, and there and there, and I'm gonna build a tailgate out of it. I'm looking for a fucking coke sign. Coke sign. Yeah. 
and drill holes in that coke sign wherever this meets at, just tack welded in there. And a big coke coal in the back of the truck. It look pretty sick. Oh well, yeah. My uncle's got a coke sign and I'm hoping the bed is gonna go in the bottom of the bed or go in the you know what I mean in the top. I'm gonna do like a false bottom in it. I think that'll look pretty cool. I don't know that. I'm still fucking with it. I'll figure it out one day. <laughs> I would think it'd light it up pretty good. I wouldn't know that. Like I say, you don't know until you fucking put it together. Take some of that floor in, pop that bed in. Man, you gonna come up with something on them fucking motor mounts. I, I don't really want to mid plate it. And I'm by that plate. That front plate. Mm. Well, we want to put all that stress on the front of that block. Probably gonna put more of these motherfuckers down just like you did, that plate. How'd you get that that plate for the engine mounts in that damn range? Oh, I got it for they do that shit. I just, I just stuck on there right now. I ain't really ain't even done it with them. I'm gonna put another piece on it to brace it up some more. Yeah. But I just, it's just stuck to the frame rail well, pretty much. It'll probably fucking break as soon as you torque on it in good time. What's that plate? You cut that, that plate come off the three bolt plate. Oh, you talking about that? Yeah, yeah that was just the old, regular old motor mount off like a eight or something like off that truck right there. I just cut it out. Yeah, that clamshell. Yeah, clamshell. Yeah, yeah. Ah, don't do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Almost fucked up. Yeah. You just gonna go through there with Josh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll cut the whole fucking gap out. Now all the way across. I figure we come across right here to here. Get a measurement from the outside of the cab to, to right here. Come up like this high. Build an entire box it in all the way to right there and just add sheet metal in there until we get it. Whatever we gotta do. It ain't gotta be pretty. Well, yeah. As long as he goes down the road and does burnouts. Yeah. That's it. That's all I want to do. <laughs> yeah, I can video you, yeah. Oh, I got you, Homer. Ha! <laughs> We're getting ready to weld. Getting ready to put some of this cab floor in. All right. We're welding that vintage 1954 metal. I know we don't know how to do this. I called him. He's the expert. Don't call me no expert, man. Oh, you good at it. You know that. You welded my boxes on my truck and I put it through hell and they ain't fell off. Only you two come in as an expert. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, huh? That looks alright right there. Here we go. Round two. Oh, we blew the yeah. switch. Hell yeah, look at him go, boys. Look at him go. Well, I guess I gotta go get that damn switch, don't I? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna tell him to man that damn breaker. I gotta buy one. I guess I'm gonna buy one tomorrow. Yeah, not the greatest. Let's not look at that right there anymore. <laughs> which I mean, this shit is dirty as hell, so we'll try to make the uh, rest of it look a little better, maybe. Yeah, I'll take it. Hell yeah, I'll take it. <clears throat> What I'm talking about, I hope the breaker don't. I know it's bright. There she went again. Maybe the old lady will get it. Tell them to be on standby. I did. I told her when it flips, she'd get her ass up and flip it again. Did y'all see? I can still see daylight out here. We trying to fix that right now. What you talking about? There ain't no holes in that floor, man. <laughs> what floor? <laughs> what floor? <laughs> I see the doggy. <laughs> he trying to eat him up. <laughs> Y'all see, uh, he ain't the only one got junk in his yard. I got a few motors over here. I got a cab over here with some headers. I got shit everywhere. See if I can get positioned up in this motherfucker. Yeah, it ain't exactly the easiest thing in the world. Woo. That's a little warm right there, buddy. 
I'm just trying to get it halfway together. I'm going to run another brace in between the frame too. I want it nice and solid. I got some green that's going to look sick on this thing with a white top. And again. <laughs> Hell yeah. <clears throat> Would you say you had a 15 amp burger? Yeah, that ain't enough. Yeah, I mean, double at least. That's what I'm gonna need, about 30. I'm gonna buy it tomorrow. I know, we just about done. Just keep flipping it back. <laughs> Can you flip it again? It ain't gonna hurt it. Just about 12 more times. Yeah. <laughs> About 12 more. We're trying to make do with what we got. I swear to God. There he goes again. We got a faulty breaker. 15 amps, not enough for a welding machine. I got a hammer. Hammer, 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 hammer. Come here, little buddy. Where you at? Right here. Yeah, as y'all see, it's trying to come along. A little bit of a this is my first rat rod, by the way. This is my first one. We get this one welded here, get the two corners like we done that one there, and get a little bit in here. I believe that'll be pretty solid for right now. We can get this one here, and get this one across here. I'm gonna cut this one out, grind it all the way back down, get it across there, and I'm gonna have to bring this one away from these torsion bars. And then I'm going to cut the rest of this shit out. Once I get it welded in there, I'm going to pull a cab and I'm going to cut that son of a bitch out. And I'm going to weld another piece in over there. To, you know what I mean? Because I, mean, I, I ain't no need in buying this shit when I got enough car hoods we can make this shit. Let me go see if she going to... I'll flip it one more time. Well, we at least get that tacked in. One last time, didn't it? Yeah, we can get it looks like shit, but I'm trying to weld over all this globby ass shit and plus you can see it's nice and rusty <laughs> so you know <clears throat> it's hard to weld on rust but i'm getting it in here anyhow plus you can see the rest of the damn thing's not in the best shape so we ain't really worried about the motherfucker being pretty as long as the damn thing goes down the road and don't fall apart that's all that matters she ain't gotta be pretty there's our view so far. I thought it was a 54. See the 55, the H55? It's a 55 pickup. I'm almost positive now. And it only had 105 horsepower at 3600 RPMs. Boy, this motherfucker get down. Hell yeah. <laughs> 1955, that's a lot of power. Hell yeah. I got a manual fuel pump for it. I'm gonna go get my beer keg. We'll buy some of that flat metal and roll it to that beer keg and make some stands out of it. This thing, 15 gallons on a stock motor with a cam in it with 600, ought to be, it ought to be about right. Yeah, you can drive this bitch to work, huh? Save yeah. you some gas. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping we can heat them up and bend them, but I don't know how well that's going to work. We can bend them up, clear it out, you know what I mean? Yeah, I got a, I got a piece of pipe. I figured we can stick it up in there and heat them up right there and middle i block it up I'm probably being being back enough anyhow yeah that'd be nice it's a 49 <laughs> grill it's the original bumper i gotta figure some lights out i got the rear lights figured out the, the damn lights here is what i gotta figure out i want to buy some of them street rod lights maybe them will work I'll paint the motor up chivalet orange you know like it's supposed to be which i don't know i might uh I might just paint the motor black. Truth to be told, I got some pretty fucking green, man. I swear to God, I was gonna put it on this truck, but I don't. I ain't painting this truck. That green's got gold metallic in it, and it's oh, like I, I'll have to show you. And I figure if I painted the hood, I painted the hood. I leave the. I leave this part black. I leave this part. You know what I mean, like it is. I just paint the hood and paint the cab. And we take right where this is, right here, tape it off right there, all the way around the truck and do the top black. Or do the top black, you know what I mean? I don't know. Hell yeah. So I got a few dents in the top, but I ain't really worried about none of them. 
Not really. I want to put a sunroof in this bastard. Alright, well, we got that little bit done. Really didn't uh, well too much, just a little bit there on his uh, cab floor he's trying to do. But we're going to do some more, maybe this weekend. Mainly just wanted to go check it out and bring y'all along, show y'all what he's working on or, or what we're going to be working on. Uh, rent rod project ought to be pretty fun, you know. I've always wanted a, a 48 model truck like that myself. That one's a 54, but pretty close to a 48. There ain't much differences, just uh, I think the front end and stuff like that is a little bit different from a 48 to a 54 model, but you know, the cab and all that's pretty much the same. I know there's some other little differences and stuff. I really don't know a whole lot about the model trucks. I just, I know I'd love to have a 48 model myself. As you've seen, it's got a small block in it right now, just a 305. So he's just putting that in there for now to get it running and driving. And then uh, later on down the road, I think he wants to do a turbo LS swap on it. So that ought to be pretty fun. But uh, yeah, I'm in this and off here. I'm headed to the house now. Y'all just let us know what y'all think about it. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Later. Well, we made it home. Let's see if we can piss off the neighbors before we go in. See y'all in the next one.